And if you can identify issues um, with the government and the way that some things are run, like transportation, as you just said, what do you think should be in place to fix some of these systems that aren't working for people? Well, in California, it's the state. Um, and I think a way to fix California is to get rid of Jerry Brown and the Democrat legislature. That'd be a good start, um, to put California back on track. But, but if you're not going to do that, then move out of California, because California is on a, on a bad road to stupid right, right now. Would you support creating additional regulations on gun ownership? No. Um, no universal background checks? Oh, sure. I mean, w we do background checks now. So I'm, yeah, universal background checks, good, making sure people don't have mental illness or felonies, that would be good too, and we already check on, on those things, right? But um, anything that makes sure that bad people or people that are mentally ill or violent or who have been convicted, that they can't buy a weapon, and those of us that are, have not been convicted of a crime are not mentally ill, that we can. Um, so, so what you're saying there is for 99% of the American people, they should be able to keep and bear arms, carry c concealed permits or uh, concealed weapons. Um, and for the 1% that either are felons or mentally ill, then no. Um, assault weapons ban, do you agree with that? or No, what's an assault weapon? I'm asking you, what's an assault weapon? An automatic weapon. Uh, automatic weapons have been Ill illegal for 100 years, so that's not an assault weapon. Okay. An assault weapon from people that I've, that I've said, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out here, is one that looks really mean. If I were to show you a hunting rifle made out of, out of wood or a hunting shotgun with a wood stock, you would say, that's probably not an assault rifle. If I showed you the exact same rifle in like graphite black with cool blue steel on it, you'd say, wow, that looks pretty dangerous. That's an assault rifle. So calling it that means nothing. Um, Machine guns have been illegal for over 100 years in this country. You can go to places in Nevada where you can shoot machine guns, but that's, that's about it. Um, a semi-automatic weapon is one which every time you pull the trigger, the, the weapon goes off. That's every shotgun pretty much and pistol and or rifle. Some have bolt action, some are semi-automatic. Um, but beyond what I, I, I just said now, no, no more rules and regulations. So the gun that was used, say, to shoot all of those folks in Las Vegas, uh, you don't think that there should be a ban on those types of weapons? On, on weapons? Or accessibility, so maybe? Or? The bump stock, yeah. And, and I think everybody agreed there's no reason to have bump stocks. That's what allowed him to shoot so quickly. Um, but you can't aim very well. Right. And I know you talk to high school kids today. I I'm certain that, that gun laws and, and all of that were at the forefront of their mind. What were some of their concerns that they mentioned to you? To some extent, uh, they actually didn't mention concerns. Um, what, what I brought up to the kids and something that they all, they all thought was pretty smart and something that we could do, do federally, um, and it's pretty, it's pretty simple. I have three, three kids between 11 and 17. I have kids at my house all the time, kids at my house all the time. I have, I have weapons in my house, and when, my, when the kids' parents drop them off at my house to play with my kids, those parents have an implicit understanding that I'm going to protect their kids while they're at my house. I'm, their kids are at my, my house. It's now my job to take care of their kids while they're at my place. I think schools need to have the exact same mindset. I think the school's job, it's incumbent upon them to protect my kid while my kid's not with me. So I can't protect them anymore, and I'm handing them, handing them off to you it's now your job to protect them in whatever way that you can. I think one of the best ways to do that is you take people that are prior military, prior law enforcement, and are teachers. Let's just start there and do a pilot program of those people that are already trained in how to use a weapon, trained in tactics, techniques, and, and procedures. They already have all that training and allow them to opt in to carry weapons on school grounds or to have a, a, a weapon in their school desk, uh, biometrically locked in there so the teacher has to put their handprint on it to have the uh, gun come out, and then they can defend those kids if, if something bad happens, right? Um, I think that's one, one of, the, of the first major steps that we ought to take is arming those teachers that already have the training and, and the know-how to be able to, to carry a weapon in, in extremist situations. You've got teachers who say they're not being paid enough to teach, who don't have books and pens and pencils for students. How do you propose getting training, weapons training, for all teachers and providing them with a weapon? Well, that's why you have some kind of a pilot program, right? And I think that's something that, that we should do. That, that could be done on the federal level 
federal grant money going to the schools that have people that want to participate in making their schools safer. All right. We've interviewed several of your challengers in the 50th District, including El Cajon Mayor Bill Wells, a fellow Republican. He said he believes you'll eventually be unable to continue as a congressman because of the ongoing federal investigation into your alleged personal use of campaign funds. What's your reaction to that? I don't have a reaction to it. It's been like a year and a half, I think, since this thing started. I've, I've heard nothing. I've had no involvement with the Department of Justice. We've been doing nothing, actually, because we haven't been asked to do anything. So, I mean, people run for office all the time. People like higher power all the time. And you'll see politicians saying stuff like that all the time. Did you misuse campaign funds? No. Were there mistakes made? No. No mistakes made? There were, I did not misuse any campaign funds. But thank you for asking. Duncan Hunter, thank hey, you so much. Thank you very much for having me. All right.